I never had a childhood because I was always among adults. I never had neighborhood kids to go out and play with because I lived on the 17th floor of a hotel that had no kids living in it. Or if they were living in it, they were there for four days while their parents were on vacation. It really is the worst environment for a child to grow up in than you could possibly imagine. You had bars in a hotel that were open till 4 or 5 a.m. You had uh, known uh, prostitutes working in the hotel. And as a teenager, Ben was introduced to sex by some of the girls there. As he got older, Ben used to hang out with a lot of police, especially the Vice Squad at Miami Beach. And they used to frequent a particular strip club where he met this gorgeous stripper whose professional name was Sylvia. In fact, it was Narcissa Feliz. Narcy asked some of the other strippers, who was this guy with a beard who seemed to be, you know, flashing a lot of money? And they said, oh, his father owns the Fontainebleau. Narcy immediately decided she was going to get to know him better. Narcy Valise grew up very poor in Ecuador, and she was dancing and stripping out of desperation to make money for herself and her daughter. And I think she felt that Ben was an opportunity to kind of escape the everyday existence of living a life in poverty. I just thought it was one of my mother's other boyfriends. But they were trying to do the whole family thing, and he did stick around. We got along great when it came to like video games and sports, academic things. You know, he was always on board when it came to all that, my, something my mother um, really wasn't into. She was certainly not a shy person. She was very flamboyant. She could charm the pants off of anybody, so to speak. And he just was smitten with her. He fell in love with her. <laughs> 